Hey guys, this episode of Mr. Fix, what's happening here, we have a sump pump that it looks like it's okay now, but sometimes it fails, fails to pump sometimes. So it's a brand new pump, it's really weird. So it cycles okay, but then I came back and then the water was up and the, it was running. And if I feel this pipe here, I feel some pressure in there, but it's not making it all the way through. So what they said was possibly we need to put a weeping hole at one of the pipes and to be on the safe side, I'm gonna change the check valve and see if it works. So I'm not gonna show you real quick, but I'm gonna undo this one and then I'm gonna lift this up. So you're gonna need an eight mil. Let's undo that. Then we're gonna take the pump out and I'll show you where I'm gonna drill. Be warned that when you lift this up, you're gonna get a lot of water that's in the pipe. So just be careful. Take off the check valve. This thing is shaking like you wouldn't believe. So that's A number one. I'm going to change that. I'm going to put the new one on. Make sure that your flow is correct. You want to make sure that it's good. So we're going to install that. And right here is where they recommend to do that, that hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the side. And we're going to make sure the hole points downwards like this. So... I'm gonna get a 3 16 bit and I'm gonna drill a hole and I'll show you. All right, so I'm just, I just did a little bit there. It's gonna be a little harder with two hands. Nice, and then we'll go to install. All right, so what's gonna happen now, I'm gonna show you how to turn it on and you'll see it overshoot, it'll shoot out that little uh, weeping hole that I did. But that's okay, that's what we want. So then, it's it's that little bit, but it's shooting out. So, check valve looks good. Final check. We're gonna test it with water. There you go. All right, there you go, everybody. Sub pump all fixed. Chalk it up to possibly a faulty check valve. And then also that weeping hole that we needed to do. So keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully everything's good. We got it good to go. Good luck to you in fixing your sub pump and any issues you have. Thanks for watching. Mr. Fix.